Today you're going to learn a couple of different methods you can use in order to saturate images inside Photoshop. So when it comes to adding color to images inside Photoshop, there's a couple of different ways we can do it. And I've seen most people just use one way in order to accomplish this, which can give sort of a weird look to the photos inside uh, what you're trying to edit here. So what I want to do is I want to take this photo of two birds and I'm going to saturate it in a couple of different ways for you to see how we can get different effects when we want to saturate images. So the first way that you're probably going to see most people do it is by going into the adjustments panel and inside the adjustments panel we have a button we can click on in order to adjust the saturation of the images. So if we were to use that specific uh, adjustment layer I can go ahead and use it and as you can see we get a couple of different options here. I can just go ahead and drag the slider for saturation as you can see. We do increase the color inside the photo but it does sort of look a little bit weird and you might not be able to see it in the first glance. So if I were to buff up the, the colors here so I think this looks about we have some good saturation on the image. Now what happens as you may notice in the background is that we do get quite a bit of overexposure. So if we were to take a look at for example the green we have over here by the trees, if we were to take a look at some of the colors on the birds, uh, right now might not be so obvious but if I were to turn off the saturation layer you can see that we have quite a bit of overexposure. So the bushes and stuff in the background looks quite a bit like paintings. It looks a little bit overdone. It looks photoshopped, that's what I'm trying to get to. So if you're trying to just saturate everything inside the image, then of course this would be the proper way. I have seen some people try to fix this when it gets overexposured by taking a pencil tool and drawing on top of the saturation layer by choosing a black color in order to remove color. Um, and that is not really a good way to do it because it looks photoshopped again. So another way we can use in order to do this if I were to just make a copy of the background so we have a copy of the picture because we will need to see some before and after photos so it's a good idea to do that. Another way we can do it is by taking the photo layer that we have down here inside the layers panel and then go up to filter, go to camera raw filter and in here you can see we get some different sliders we can adjust. This is actually a very good place to adjust colors and contrast and that sort of thing for your image. So if you don't want to have it on a separate uh, what do you call it, a adjustment layer and you just want to do something directly to the original image, you can go in here and do that. So what I can do is I can go down to what is called vibrance. Now saturation is going to increase the colors of everything inside the photo. The one called Vibrance is going to just increase the colors that are not so saturated inside the image. So for example if I would take a look at the birds right now we have quite a bit of color on those birds. So we might need to, we might not need to increase the colors there but the background looks a little bit faded and looks like it's been desaturated quite a bit. So if we would turn up the Vibrance you can see that we get some color in the background without overexposing over ex exposing, exposing anything inside the photo. So if I were to turn it up, then go ahead and click OK. You can see that the difference here is that we don't have overexposed areas and everything looks quite natural when it comes to the saturation. So we would turn it off so you can actually see the before and after. Before, after. You can see we get some color but it doesn't look unnatural. It sort of looks like the original photo that we have here has been desaturated in the background in order for the birds to sort of pop out which I'm sure it has actually been done to the original image. Um, and this looks sort of like the original image which we just adjusted using Vibrance. So these are two different ways you can adjust the saturation inside Photoshop and again it really depends on the purpose that you want to, uh, the reason you want to saturate images inside Photoshop then you want to use one tool or the other tool. Just I want to make you aware that there's not just one tool which is the saturation layer in order to increase color inside Photoshop because it looks quite unnatural when you want to do it in that specific way if you want to increase the what do you call it, just part of the saturation of the image. So um, just be aware that there's two methods we can use in order to do this. So I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next episode.